Hi everyone, welcome to the best practices and coding standards video series. My name is Sukesh Marla and today we are going to talk about naming conventions. Let's look at the agenda. We'll start with what is mean by naming convention, what are the importance of naming convention and why it's must to follow the naming convention during development or coding. We'll look at the different types of naming convention available and how we can make a choice between them. Good news is at the end I will also share a trick with you for remembering these naming conventions. Now it's time to learn what is mean by naming convention. The answer for this question is an answer for another question that is how to name an element. In our real life we have defined various standards and rules which will help us to name various things like human beings, animals, electronic equipments, etc. Similarly, in programming, we will define certain standards or rules which will help us to name identifiers. Identifiers means variables, properties, events, delegates, etc. And rules may be like this. Class name will always have a prefix called CLS. For the first letter of the variable should be always capital and so on. Now the question which might be revolving in your mind is why these naming conventions are required? Now just try to read this line. In the first glance it's very difficult to read this. Now try to read this one. Grade of American customer. In the second line we have defined a standard that the first letter of every word will be capital. So you, you only just think about and try to make a decision which is more readable. Second one right. So the first advantage of defining naming convention is readability. Now let's talk about a software development team comprising three to four developer. One of the developer who is working with option one create a variable called as customer name. Whereas developer two who is working on say option two used to create a variable called as str customer name. And like this we have various flavors of same variable C name C name with capital C and I also saw some user or some developer who used to create variables like A, B and C. So the second problem not using naming convention is inconsistencies in the code and the, in reverse the advantage of using naming convention is consistency. Now the readable code written in a consistent manner reduces the effort of a developer when he has been assigned a task which has been completed by some other developer in the past because the new developer will be completely sure about sure about the naming of the variables because they are named based on the naming convention standards defined. Now together these things along with the great enhanced intelligence features provided by the modern IDs like Visual Studio drastically improves the development speed and this is all about why naming conventions are required and uh, importance of the naming conventions. Now let's talk about various types of naming conventions available. The first one is Pascal where the first letter of every word will be in capital letter. Second one is camel casing where the first letter will always be small and the first letter of the subsequent word be, word will be in capital. The Pascal casing is also termed as upper, upper camel casing. There is a third type of naming convention available called as Hungarian notation where data variable names will always be prefixed with some metadata like str which will depict the data type of the variable. Now let's talk about how we can make a choice between this Pascal, Camel and Hungarian conventions. In the agenda I also said that I am going to talk about a trick by which we can remember these naming conventions. Let me reveal the secret. If you want to remember any conventions or if you want to remember anything use the thought process instead of mugging the documents. It seems weird but it's true. Normally company makes a standard, coding standards, document them 
and developer used to read them and try to remember those conventions by means of mugging. I will say rather use your thought process and try to remember those conventions. Let me share how I used to remember naming conventions or let me share my thoughts about naming conventions. The first one is Hungarian notation. The advantage of using this notation is we get the additional information about the identifier. But nowadays IDEs like Visual Studio has improved so much that Hungarian notation is not at all required. For example, consider I have created a variable called as speed of data type int. And now if I want to know more about this variable, what I have to do is just take the cursor to that variable and I get all the details like what is its data type, whether it's a member variable or static variable, that's it. So uh, it's better to avoid the Hungarian notations because it just makes the name more complicated. Now the next point is how to make a choice between Pascal and Camel casing. I will say this completely depends on the comfort zone of the developer who is actually creating the naming convention document. For instance, .NET developer prefers Pascal casing because most of or rather we say all the functions created by Microsoft are following Pascal casing whereas Java developer prefer Camel casing. Other than these two notations, I used to follow one more notation called underscore notation. In this notation, identifiers are prefixed with underscore character followed by camel casing. So now, why this notation is required? Consider an example of class consisting of hundreds of member variables and a function which uses some of the private members. Now, it will be very difficult to access that private member from a list of 100, member, 100 members even when we have great intelligence feature. One solution which I prefer is using underscore notation for naming private members. Whenever I want to access any private member, what I do is just press the underscore and I will get list of all the private members in front of me. It's that simple. And this is all about underscore notation. So this is all about naming conventions. We have already discussed if you want to create and remember any naming convention document, use your thought process instead of mugging. So thanks for your precious time. Hope all of you enjoyed watching this video. You can write me your queries at sukeshmarla at gmail.com and I will try to reply with the best possible way I can. Thank you.